Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, the Napoleonic Warfare mod, and we're doing another uniform guide. We've already done France, Britain, and Austria. Now we're going to be doing the Russian Empire. And now this is interesting because the Russian Empire has some of my favorite because of the colors and some of my least favorite because of the lack of variety and low quality, which is typical of Russian stuff, uh, uniforms from the entire Napoleonic era. That being said, the uniforms in this game are pretty good. I think the mod authors did a good job of balancing accuracy with with, uh, goodness or, or betterness than real life. So I like them and we're going to go through them again. Like I always say in these videos, uh, you might find variants of uniforms in the game that maybe Russian troops will be wearing where they'll be wearing all Russian things except for like Austrian pants or something like that. We will not do that. We're only using Austrian pieces of clothing or generalized pieces of clothing. Uh, but with all that being said, let's just dive on in and uh, start going through these uniforms. And so the first one I want to look at uh, has a lot of variation and this is the uh, Russian Russian partisan. So this is the most basic Russian troop in the game and so you'll see a ton of different variants of this uniform. I think there are 81 variants. Uh, a lot of that is just the weapons that they use. So sometimes they'll have pitchforks, sometimes they'll have guns, sometimes they'll have swords. Uh, it's very Russian and I really really like the fact that that exists in this game. That there's such a basic Russian partisan unit. It, it's just all over the place. But on the whole you can narrow it down to just a few things. I've added uh, the bandolier and gloves. From what I can tell the partisan uniform doesn't typically have them but like I said I like to fill up all the slots for a uniform and considering it's Russia it makes sense to have gloves on. So this uniform on the whole is made up of the following pieces. The Russian partisini hat, the infantry bandolier, the Russian partisan coat, the officer's gloves wool, and the Russian musketeer gaiters. And uh, that on the whole is what it looks like but there's several variants because there's three different Russian partisan coats. There's this one, then there's this one, then there's this one, and then of course there's three different Russian partisan hats. So there's the one I'm wearing which is my favorite of the three, then there's this one, and then there's this one. So like I said, you can get any combination of those three coats and those three hats uh, and you can typically there won't be gloves or a bandolier, but like I said, I think it looks better with them and makes it have a more military vibe. Uh, the only variant is going to be different weapons that you'll see in the game. But if you want to dress like a Russian partisan, that is how you do it. So that is the first uniform we're looking at. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the Russian Pavlovsky line uniform. So this is an infantry unit with a fun hat. So I like this one. Like I said, this falls into the category of things where I'm like, you know, I, I don't like the lack of variety, but this is one of the ones that looks quite good. And the hat is obviously super flashy and over the top, and I love it. So this uniform is made up of the Russian Pavlovsky miter cap, the Russian equipment, the Russian Pavlovsky uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Russian musketeer gaiters. So one thing of note that I will say for all of the Russian uniforms, the Russian equipment is my favorite equipment in the entire game. It's got a more low profile one. I guess it would probably be less favorite for the Russians because it looks like they don't have a bedroll, which, you know, not ideal for uh, for being in Russia, especially during the winter, but it does look more low profile and professional, so I like it for that. Uh, but overall, I like this uniform. I love green as a color, so it's my favorite color, and I love it for military uniforms. So the Russian uniforms, most of them are green, so that's one of the reasons I like the Russian uniforms in this game. Uh, and overall, this one's quite good. It's got the red accents on both the hat and the uniform itself. The uh, regular tan pants and the, all the other white accents, I think it looks really good. So that is the Pavlovsky line infantry uniform. Let's move on to the next one. So our next one is the uh, guard officer uniform, and I think on the whole it looks pretty dang good. It's very well put together, and one of the things that the Russian uniforms do very well is their hats, because man, look at that shako, it looks awesome. This uniform is made up of the Russian guard officer shako, the Russian equipment black, the Russian guard uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Russian musketeer gaiters. And now these are the ones with the black boots that go up the side as opposed to the ones that go all the way down. I really like this one. It looks excellent. It's a little bit more flashy because of the officer aspect. So you can see we've got more gold accents on the buttons and they shimmer a little bit more. Our Shako has the great big eagle on it and that's all golded out too. It's got the big white cord around it. It looks awesome. So I really like this uniform. It's one of my favorite ones in the game and it definitely tops the lists for like Russian uniforms. So I love the Russian guard officer. It looks Looks excellent. Our next one is the Russian Hussar uniform. This is another one that I think looks quite good. I typically do like the Hussar uniforms in this game and so it shouldn't be a surprise to hear me say that. Uh, there's one small clipping thing that I don't love but uh, that happens with a lot of the Hussar variants. But I honestly really like this one. So it's a light cavalry unit just in case you're not sure what Hussars are. Uh, this one is the Russian Guard Shako, the Russian Hussar equipment, the Russian Hussar uniform, the officer's gloves black, and the Russian Dragoon pants. So all together looks quite 
quite good. I really like the way this one looks. It's definitely got a more dark understated, and it's one of the few Russian ones that's not green. So typically that would rank it pretty low, but I do like it. It's got this the gray with silver and red accents. Looks real sharp. And of course, like I said, those Russian Shakos look excellent. Uh, so yeah, that is the uh, Russian Hussar uniform. Next up, we have the Russian Dragoon uniform. So this one is interesting in that it's not... Uh, most of the factions have a very well-defined Dragoon uniform. The Russian one is actually just a bunch of other pieces that people might not think go together, but I think that looks pretty good together. So it's the Russian Chevalier helmet, the Cavalry Bandolier, the Russian Infantry uniform, the Officer's Gloves White, and the Russian Dragoon pants. So like I said, most factions have a dedicated uniform for this troop type. The Russians don't, but you know, it, their uniforms are multi-purpose. They look good together. So even though this one says infantry, it works really well for what it's supposed to be. So I like this one. It doesn't, it doesn't make my top five or anything, but it is a solid enough looking uniform. Next up, we have the Russian Curiouser. So this is their heavy infantry unit, uh, or their heavy cavalry unit. Again, I think this one looks pretty good. Typically, I do like these for the factions because they have that slightly extra detailed level because of the fact that they have a breastplate. But uh, the Russian one looks good. I like it considerably more than the Austrian uh, variant of their heavy uh, cavalry. I think the Russian one looks significantly better. So this one's made up of the Russian Chevalier helmet, the infantry bandolier, which is interesting enough for a cavalry unit, uh, the Russian Curiouser uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Russian musketeer gaiters, this time the ones without the black. So, solid uniform. I definitely like this one. Again, it's got the white and red accents, which of course you gotta love. I do like this breastplate more than a lot of them, because it's got that darker, almost black steel with the red accents and the, the gold rivets. I think it looks really good and matches really well with the helmet. So, out of all of the cavalry uniforms for the Russian troops, this one's probably my favorite, and that's not always the case for the heavy cavalry in this mod. So, definitely a great uniform. So, that is the Russian Curiouser. Next up, we have the standard Russian infantry uniform. So, this is their basic frontline infantry unit. Uh, it's made up of the Russian infantry shako, the Russian equipment, Russian infantry uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Russian musketeer gaiters. Again, like I said, there's not that much variety in the different Russian uniforms. A lot of them, e even though they are using unique pieces, a lot of the pieces still look so similar to each other that they don't stand out as much as some of the other factions. But on the whole, very well put together, very polished looking uniforms. So I think the Russian infantry is one of the best looking infantry units in the game. Uh, but that's that uniform. Next up, we have the base basic Russian cavalry one. This is uh, pretty standard for all of your basic cavalry units in the game. A lot of them look something like this. And uh, this one, I think, looks decent. Again, love the color green, so it's not hard to please me there. This one's made up of the bicorn, the cavalry bandolier, the Russian recruit uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Russian dragoon pants. I find it interesting that because of the fact that the Russians start off with the partisan troop instead of a, a basic recruit like a lot of the factions do, the recruit uniform is actually kept for their basic cavalry unit. So, interesting enough, definitely a pretty good looking uniform. It's very basic, obviously, and I'm not nuts about the bicorn hat with it because, like I said in previous videos, it removes your hair and so it makes you look all bald and stuff. But uh, overall, pretty good looking uniform. Definitely uh, has room for improvement, but no major problems with it. Doesn't clip. All the textures look good. So, very solid. Next up, we have the Russian Rifleman uniform, which, you know, if you watch my British uniforms video, you know I'm a sucker for a Rifleman uniform, and I definitely do like this one. So, I don't know if I've already claimed a favorite for the Russian troops, but obviously, if I said it was a different one, then I was wrong. It is this one. It's got to be the Rifleman one. I love Rifleman uniforms. They're just so sharp. That being said, the British one is significantly better than this one. It's one of the rare instances where the British uniform kicks the crap out of the Russian one. I like a lot of, like, I like the basic Russian infantry a lot more than I like the basic British infantry. But the uh, British Rifleman uniform looks so much better than this one. That being said, this one is my favorite Russian one, and it's made up of these pieces. The Russian Jaeger Shako, the Russian Equipment Black, the Russian Rifleman uniform, the the Russian are the officer gloves black and the Russian Jaeger gaiters. So it shares a lot of the pieces with the Jaeger troop, which, you know, take that as you will. They don't have their designated ones, so it doesn't has, have rifleman pants. But that being said, I think it still looks really, really good. And I do like the Russian Shako probably a little bit more than I like the British one. Uh, the British one's iconic and everything, but the shorter look with that cord around it. Now, mind you, I like the green cord better than the white cord, but still looks pretty dang good. So a very, very solid uniform. And once again, the rifleman making one of my absolute favorite uniforms in the game. Next up, we have another pretty basic looking one, but I think looks significantly better than the... Uh, 
uh, partisan one. This one is the Russian militia. So I like the cap style, basically, which is what saves this uniform for me. So whenever you see that cap, it's one that I generally enjoy for the time period. So this one is made up of the Russian militia cap, the infantry bandolier, the Russian militia coat, the officer's gloves wool, and the Russian musketeer gaiters. So it's nothing fancy. It, it's not too snappy or anything. And obviously the coat is as bland as it possibly could be. It's a knee length, indistinct, shapeless blob. But that being said, it looks like it's made out of a nice thick wool, which would be very nice for those Russian winters. And uh, like I said, I love the cap. And overall, it does look good put together like that. So yes, that is the Russian militia infantry. Most of the factions don't have anything that really fills this same slot. So definitely a unique vibe to it. And I like it. And so that's that. There's unfortunately not a lot of the higher end Russian uniforms. I'm hoping that at some point they're going to add more of the imperial style because when you look at it historically, Russia had some sick imperial looking uniforms during the Napoleonic era for like the Tsar and the high ranking people. They had some really flashy uniforms, possibly even more flashy than France's at the time, which is saying something. So none of those are currently in the game. I've showed you all of the ones that I could find and isolate throughout the game. Now you could probably mix and match some pieces from other factions to come up with something that looked kind of like those uh, real fancy Imperial Russian uniforms from the period, but that's not what we're doing in these videos. So with all that being said, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was a good look at all of the different Russian uniforms in the game. <laughs> that's the whole point of these videos, but that's all for today and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.